Warning. The bullshit you're about to hear is going to be explicit. If you have fucked up, horrible feelings about life, skip us. But if you're okay with laughing at yourself and being cool, then cool. Continue watching this fucking video, bitch. And we'll see you at the end when you watch the next one right after or even before. I don't give a fuck. But your mama, she hot. Give her my number so I can give it to Bear. Love you. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Are You Fucking Serious podcast. I'm your illustrious Mookies over there, over looking like everybody's least favorite porch daddy is Concept. Why do you always think I'm a daddy? Like, I, <laughs> did you call me daddy? Like, is there something you're trying to tell me? Sorry, it's not Tuesday, so shut the fuck up. And then <laughs> down below in cell block D, wearing his prison orange jumpsuit. You shall. <laughs> Poor <laughs> spear. Okay. You don't have to angle your camera, Bear, because we can't see you at all. I oh, know, it's just the light. <laughs> so, and you are the darkness. <laughs> right, the <laughs> darkest thing in that room. Shit. In this room. They turn that light. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help. You just got darker. Nope. They turn the hey, lights and you got darker. I turn the lights <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey, he over there. He over there talking <laughs> to a cellmate, so that's why he's trying to like get some help. Yeah, I got cellmate work today, so it's working. Cool. <laughs> and you know what? How y'all been? Good, nigga. Just living life, cracking jokes, talking Man, about people's you know, mamas. Oh, that's that. Isn't that like every day? <laughs> that's that's an everyday occurrence for you. So I'm not sure. What's the, what's what's hey, different? People's mamas deserve to be talked about. I don't care if you cute, ugly, in the mix, okay, like whatever. Your mama's deserve to be talked about. Who, who was in the mix? I don't care what they look like either. I'm curious what? about the mix. The mix <laughs> They in the mix of okay, oh, ugly, you know what? and like good looking. Yeah, I know what I know what you mean. Remember that one teacher we had? Hold on one second. There's a butterface. Oh, everything was good. Butterface? Yeah. Uh, it was a couple though. <laughs> no, no, this one was like for sure, for sure. Like she was thick and everything. Like she had the perfect everything. Just her face. She looked like she had herpes. What's she teach? I think at one point she taught Spanish for the level three. Oh, oh. oh I know who you're talking about. For the about. honor students. It wasn't Miss Amridge. It was, uh, Oh, no, no. That wasn't that wasn't like butterface. That was just generic. No, she had <laughs> she had bunny face. She looked like a bunny to me. Now I lost you. I don't know who the hell I would I honestly I just cannot remember her name to save my life. Like I I'd, normally I'm like okay with this, but damn, I cannot remember her name right now. I'll find a yearbook. <laughs> you think I had? Do you think I still have my yearbook? I imagine. I no. I I to be honest, I probably have it somewhere in back in LA, but I definitely didn't take that shit with me. And right. oh, you know what? Just because Mookie's isn't here right now, uh, if you got a class ring for high school, you suck. <laughs> that is oh, all. Okay. What? Okay. So so you just you just. This and on the class ring I got. It was yep. hard. To, that's, mm-hmm. uh, it's just fucking high school. Everybody does it. Okay, that's fine. Why you didn't do it? Is you broke? <laughs> no, no. I meant everybody finishes high school. That's not fucking special. I know, but I want a class ring. I want it from big shit. Like do something like that's difficult. Like get a class ring for. Like, I'll give you bachelor's degrees. Higher, because that shit is. I wouldn't say. Depending on who you ask. Not more difficult in some cases because I know some dumbasses that have degrees. You know who you are. If you're getting angry, it's you. It's fucking you. Damn, Mookie's are rubbing off on me. Mookie's come back. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> so, as soon as you left, he had to go fill in the shoes. He did not what? like what he was turning into. I did. <laughs> what? Like, I felt like Venom. 
<laughs> like I felt the blackness. <laughs> what happened? I the darkness consume me. Oh, let it consume you. I really, honestly, I went off. I went a little too far off. You'll see it later. Um, oh God. <laughs> not in a bad way. You'd be proud. Um, oh, that's a first. Finally, congratulations. <laughs> but you know what? Because I, 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 I made fun of Bear's classroom. Bear, how you been? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Bear, you still wear your class ring from high school? No, I just have one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, don't, I think I gave mine to my mama. They're like, I don't even have mine anymore. I never even got one. I just I just didn't feel like a fucking accomplishment. My mom like, got mine at like Walmart and then because it was cheaper. It was the same company but cheaper. And then um I shit couldn't fit my finger right. It was too like lopsided. And then when I came back home for like after my freshman year. I got stared at the class and I tried it on. I was like, this thing don't want to fit anymore. <laughs> Fuck no. You know what? I am, just because of this prompt, I'm going to change the topic for today. What was the topic going to be originally? No, it doesn't even matter. You, you check the list. I, I actually just closed it. Um, But the topic for the day, just because I, just because we're talking about it, um, pe- things that people think are accomplishments but really aren't. Um, and I mean this in a more sincere way because of the fact that, for I example, I know you don't, but for example, like I just said, like most people nowadays, nowadays, before it was less common, they finish high school. Getting a class ring is not, it, I, I, it just feels dumb. If uh, Unless you're not going to college or you have no other plans after that, and that's where you end to get one. Do that. That makes sense. Be, celebrate that shit but if you're going to college wait till college if you're gonna get your masters or if that's something that you want in your spirit wait till then like i just well, I mean, it didn't mean you... shit to you because you went to college twice that is true that actually is true <laughs> fucking bitch you overachieving <laughs> bitch <laughs> this nigga was going, going to high school, to school and college all over again now he going back the fuck <laughs> and i'm going back again <laughs> Get your elitism you know out. I, I okay. hope all your professors hate you. Oh, they, they always do. Every one I hope of them. They hate every you one of even them. More yeah, every I one do. of them is gonna be like Manju. Manju fucking hate. <laughs> and, and Mookie's knows who Manju is for sure, and Bear kind of knows. But God, uh, uh, she was. Uh, I went. I lived in Japan for a while, and she was our uh, our professor that went. And it was awful. She hated me because I went to her, and I didn't. I didn't have enough. Um, That's because you're an overachieving bitch, like I just said. I don't care, bitch. I'm just living my life. I don't give a damn hey, what people hey, why say. Why your voice get real squeaky? Because I just don't feel like it, and I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> nah, but for real though, like, why the fuck do I care? <laughs> Like that's oh, the man. thing is like I'm not living my life for you and I'm not living my life on anybody else's time. Like if I felt like I was ready to go, which I was, I already had like sophomore credits freshman year, so that's why I was able to Um I, that that's why I went. And that's a lesson for everybody else. If you feel like you want to do something just like why are you waiting for somebody else to tell you that it's okay to do? I mean, unless you need somebody else's to Every fucking reason, like I don't know if you, I mean to get your PhD, you need other people. They have to pass you, but other than that, just go shit. What are you waiting for? Like just do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> but nigga, uh, that scare nobody. Not even your shadow jumped. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was trying to scare. Did that scare people when Shia LaBeouf did that? <laughs> that did not scare me. <laughs> but yeah that, that's one of those things like you know so I, that that's how i'm gonna start us off today that you know don't, like high school that, that nowadays is really not as much of an accomplishment so no <laughs> that's a no that's a no-go for me really it's because college is not that like important as it used to be like when we were growing up it was like yeah you gotta get to college that's just gonna open doors for you nigga it ain't open up a single door unless your school is huge as fuck in a big ass state or city they don't give a damn about you where you went to school like for us all going to school uh, for college minnesota outside of minnesota don't nobody know whenever we mention our our school our our school's name everybody's like oh the one in new york nigga no like fuck no exactly nigga we in the middle of bum fucking nowhere we ain't in a massive city on a fucking borough like no so it's just like 
yeah, that shit be on a dumb shit. And then niggas be like, yeah. Like, I hate people who try to say, like, you know, high school is going to be the best four years of your life. Yeah. Niggas lying to you. No, you lied. I don't care. College was the best <laughs> four, if anything. <laughs> but Dance, damn sure. Dance fucking down. College was, College was a million best. times fucking better than Fuck high yes. school. And I'm you not, think, I, we all went to the same high school, so maybe there's a little and bit of college. Bias. Uh, but, but either way, but there's a there's a little bit of bias, particularly for high school, because we went to an all male institution, that was Jesuit, and whatever else. Um, so our experience Present. is actually kind of the same. But you know what? Comment down below if your high school experience was better than your college one. And you know, comment down below if your college experience was better too. And like, just compare fucking notes, because I'm curious. Generally, genuinely, I just I don't get why. People said that, like, it's stupid. Oh, right, like high school was hell. Like, you know, Literally. for like most people, like for us, because like most people, you go into the situation and your main worry in high school are the students. Yeah, homework is hard or whatever. Your teachers can rag on you, whatever. But not as bad as like the other students. When you had an all boys high school. The students, we all felt the same about life and didn't care. It was the teachers and the staff that made high school hell. Like, you go in and you did not know if the person you were about to deal with was going to have a good day or not. And you were literally worried. Like, I hope they do not take it out on me today. Like, nah, we hated that place. Like, you know, it was good for what it was, but it wasn't the end all be all. And I'm going to listen to this and be like, so you hated your high school? I'm like, oh, it wasn't perfect. Let's, like, let's, let's talk about that though. Every like it got me to where thought, I needed to go. Every parent thought that that high school was like the shit. Like, and I'm like, that for the area that it's in, yeah, good yeah. bang for your buck. Like, I mean, and we worked honestly. We had a corporate work study, so that paid for part of our tuition. So understand that us niggas was working while we were in school to pay for school. For, for free. Uh, basically, yeah, basically, and. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna lie to you though. I'm not gonna lie to you though. Because of the fact that I actually had work experience, because I don't know about y'all experience, because every job was different. Um my the people that I worked with, because I worked for a company called Southern California Edison. Shout out to all y'all, which I don't um, but shout out to everybody that mentored me because they actually mentored us to do shit versus some other people who I I, I heard about that they they were basically pushed to the side and made to do bitch work. Like we did some bitch work because that's, you know, some days you don't have anything, but we got to go work in vacations. And I worked for the CFO for a while. Um, it, it, that was, I mean, invaluable ass experiences. And that's the thing that's been kind of keeping me like up because of the fact that that part of that experience was great. However, like Mookie said, the biggest problem was you didn't know what the teacher was feeling for the And that, my friends, was the worst fucking thing. Because you don't know who, you don't know what you're gonna get today. Like, I remember there were nights where I had like eight hours of homework. And I mind you, we had to play a sport at the time. I don't know if it's the same now. But at the time, we had to play uh, uh, two seasons of sports for our PE credit because they did not offer PE credits. So imagine getting home at 6.30, 7.30 at night, <laughs> having to eat. Sometimes later, because sometimes some practices went way later. Fuck. And they gave you an hour, I think, for the football players. They gave them an hour before practice <laughs> to do homework. But that's not nearly enough fucking time. Um, and you would have to come home and at least do four hours of homework. And then that, I was like, and everybody's like, well, why are some people failing? Because, bitch, some people are tired. <laughs> we had to be in school before 730. We didn't end like, the if day you walked in, until 315. If you walked in <laughs> the school at... 7 30 like before the bell rang you late because you need to be in class hmm? yeah that's yeah. how early it was. <laughs> <laughs> don't even try to go to your locker just go ahead and go to the front office 
And then they started making it strict. They're like, oh, traffic is no longer an excuse for being late. I'm like, how, like you got something that's coming out pretty far. Like, how are we not able to use that as an excuse for being, I can't, like, this is LA. It's going to be traffic on every freeway and every street every day. I can leave my house at 6.30 and still would be damn near late to school. Get there at 7.25. And I didn't live far. Like, <laughs> now you got to run. I did not live far. Nigga, I, I used far. to get jumped <laughs> on my way to school because I walked. Because <laughs> I lived like two and a half miles away from school. Because I, I walked every morning and I used to get jumped to shit and they didn't care. <laughs> Granted, I was, I was never like late, late. Like I was, I was at 7.29. I was that kid. <laughs> I was 729 late. Um <laughs> so and I always had I that was the nice thing is like the my first period was always nice people. Yeah. So like I think I had like one of like some brothers one time, um, Mr. and Mrs. White, and yes they were white, and yes they worked for free, I found out. Yeah. Um, they were just they were just volunteering. They were I volunteers. Mm-hmm. They made a bunch of money doing And they were whatever. crazy smart. And, and they're crazy. Oh, and they were a tag team. Like they were a power couple. Shout out to Hilarious Mr. Tag Mrs. White. Team. Yeah. Hilarious tag team. Like, like you the can't two of them together. That. Funny. Like crazy smart, crazy funny. I remember one day he had like made a play on my last name. And um, he was like, I can't really say anything else, because look at mine. I was like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like exactly, and like it was so. I don't think I. They were never in bad moods unless you guys are, like everybody in the class like fuck something up or somebody in the class was fucking never up. Never seen them in a bad mood. That you know, I, you know when that happened. It was a uh, junior year, um, because there were students that were ahead of, of already in pre calc, um, and they like Ricky and some other niggas like was doing stupid shit in their class. I don't know what they did. I don't know what the fuck they did. They really fucked up. <laughs> they royally fucked up. That is like really impressive to piss them off because yeah. I've I've never seen that happen. But yeah, yeah like you know, it's high impossible. school. <laughs> they, they they pulled off the impossible. Like, I haven't heard from too many people that like high school was all what it was cracked up to be. Like it was all like some fucked up shit in the low. And it made it worse because like you know, uh, it just happened to be come out on Netflix earlier this month. Um, it was Twilight, and so I had to watch it with my girl. I had never watched that shit before in my <laughs> life, and I was just like, "The fuck!" Oh, um, and I gave, I told my girl, I was like, I gave it a three out of ten, and I'm only giving it a three because I watched it with you. Other than that, it'd probably be like a one or a zero. But <laughs> I'm like, it's cool for what it is or whatever. So, and I'm like, and I'm not in the age demographic for that shit. It's not like shit like that was like popular and prominent when we were in high school, and it was just like you know when people were doing like the whole. Team Network, Team Jacob, like, and they're on time. Justin Bieber came out. I'm like, that shit did not hit for me. Like, I was just like, I probably need like two or three people that were like, oh yeah, I'll fuck with Justin Bieber, like, doing that whole shit, or even Twilight. I'm just like, bro, no, I'm good. Yeah, and that was early Justin Bieber, too. Like, that was when he just came out with Ludacris Chris and everything. That's crazy. Yeah, there were some, there was some niggas our year, uh, Bear, that was fucking with him. And I was just like, nah. <laughs> Like high school for me, it was just like, like my fr- like, yeah, my freshman year was my first time being at like a Catholic high school where it was all boys. So I went to a private school for middle school and it was co-ed, so it was like mm-hmm. cool because I saw everybody. It was like basically just going to school, and then it wasn't until I got to high school where it was just like, yeah, this shit's different, and then <laughs> like that shit didn't hit, and then after that, that's just when I became like my sophomore year. It is when I finally established my uh, personality now, which is a lovable asshole, and that shit. At then it was just an asshole, but then over time you became lovable, and now you, you just love me. Yeah, you know what concept? <laughs> I hope you can only be like a real like step kid. So when you go or stepdad, so when you go to pick up your kid, you just pick him up and put him right back down. <laughs> I forgot about that movie. <laughs> I forgot about that movie. You, I, right, I'll be back you, to pick him up on Tuesday. You, you bringing back some classic ass movies. But you, all, you all, you not allowed to leave the, the uh, porch. You can only be on the porch. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, you know what though? And I'm sorry, Bear. This is good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to our next, the next one. 
do. Uh, getting out of jail or getting out of prison is not a fucking thing. Damn, don't talk Sorry. to Bear like that. Don't, don't talk to You know what? Like I'll, I'll, I'll put an asterisk. Bear looking so forward to getting out. Like... <laughs> You're not getting a party, but here's here's the no, asterisk. Not. Here is the <laughs> asterisk because I, I will put I will put like a sub note there. If you I'm talking about the people who should be in jail, like you know who you are. You should be in prison. Bear. You know what you did, and yeah, bear. And then you try to come out and then get real mad at other people because they didn't throw you a party because you got out of prison. Like you need to realize that that's not a fucking accomplishment. Staying out of prison is an accomplishment, and doing something with your life outside of prison is an accomplishment. And but getting out of prison is not prison a fucking accomplishment. accomplishment. Yeah. I'm not throwing you a party. Why would I throw you a fucking party? I'm happy to see you. Go do something party worthy. <laughs> I get a job. Yeah. Stay out of jail. Don't go back around your homies. Boom. Bear, get out the hood. <laughs> exactly. I. <laughs> Go run around with the other bears shirtless and shit. Like, you know. <laughs> hey, let's be real though. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I mean my uncle was in prison. And it's uh, this is this is half personal. Um <laughs> But the thing was is that what you just said, shirtless niggas in prison, like my grandma got so many shirtless pictures of my uncle and like his prison friend. Because I don't know why. That was just their fucking thing. And now, yeah, what's up with that? You know what though? And what I'm mad about, and what I'm actually mad about. Is because my grandma legit asked me and my husband uh, for pictures of us, right? So we sent a normal fucking picture. I had a sweater around there, had a t shirt. Great. And she's just like, well, oh, you got to do like, you know, you do it. I'm like, oh, uh, uh. And yeah, yo, yo, grandma, just going to call him gay like that. My husband, yeah. my husband is confused as fuck because she's like, what do you, what does she mean? I was just like, you know, on the fridge, my grandma got pictures. Like that's your uncle with the, like the shirtless one. I was like, yeah, that's what she's looking for. She's like, he's like, why would I do that? Why would I oil myself up? And these niggas are oiled up. Like, don't. <laughs> Bear. Bear, I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to answer here. this important question. What is up with you and your fellow prison mates? Just deciding that you know what we're just gonna be shirtless 24 seven and showcase all the chest hairs, every single one of them, no matter how curly they are. And Bear, don't even try to act like you ain't in this category. Cause your ass has taken photos for your driver's license. Now wait, the state, now the wait. state ID in California, yeah, shirtless, <laughs> shirtless. <laughs> gonna be that big. Yeah. That shirt shirtless. Big. You know what? Uh, concept, that needs to be the thumbnail for this video. Is <laughs> shirtless. Hey Bear, get it for me. Get that yeah. picture for me. I, guess, yes. I know you still have it. I know Don't you do. Still have it somewhere, but I, I can't put that up there. That's all that. Yeah, we gonna black out all the information and just keep the. Oh shit! I you gotta just, answer I that question, Bear. I would just take it out. <laughs> yeah, Bear. So what's up with that? Like, you know. I don't know what's up with that. It's a government provided <laughs> shirt. Like it ain't hard <laughs> to keep it on. They probably got the wood from the guards or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe on a fireman's calendar or something. Fireman's <laughs> calendar, yep. He's like, well, I see you, Mr. March. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised they never did a prison calendar. Like, no, that no, would have been the no. easiest thing. Just think about it. The free labor that they already get from like making license plates. And, they, and that's just a stereotypical one. They actually do... Like, it's really messed up but like that would have been an easy one because I, I mean they would have sold like for a ton of money just get a photographer in there man, like, snap some, just that's for pictures. people buying that shit like yep. damn you know there would be but there would because God. like but there are fundraisers and shit, like for prisons people don't realize that there are fundraisers I mean they function like corporation technically so, if you actually like do do that you could probably give some people some good opportunities i remember remember that uh one dude that had the picture that i guess he's a model from, yeah he's a model yeah. he's on tv <laughs> i'm just like oh you done came up i don't know what he did let's be real i don't even know what he did i just know he's a model how young he's all right i think he could have did like any and everything shit exactly i could be able to do something <laughs> you got time for money i like that I'll see you on the next issue. <laughs> so, 
It'd be a thing. <laughs> yeah, that, but that's what I mean. That, that's a very easy thing, especially because, like, for example, a calendar, one time thing every year. So you could literally just have even just like photos of people pocket it out. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe because of copyright, but then that's the other thing, too, is a lot of people don't. You go to prison, prison in particular. There's a, and let me define these two real quick. So jail is anything less than a year, a year or less. Prison is anything a year and more. That that's actually what the difference is. Prison, if you go to prison, technically, you're usually going have a felony now. That's the actual difference. Jail time is no felony, maybe a misdemeanor. Um, but prison time is felony. So. Um, Either way, you ain't getting into Canada. But you also lose, yeah, that too. You also lose your rights while you're in there. So, you would, you, they would have the immediate rights to, like, if they took photos, they would have immediate rights. They don't need your permission because you don't have the right to them. They already go through your mail. Yeah. Hmm. I couldn't send my uncle shit. <laughs> and like he wanted to anyway. Hey, you know what though? In high school, did y'all, did y'all have Mr. Woods or Mr. Willis? I didn't. Uh, okay. Well, in high I avoided school, that class. I avoided um, that class with a passion. Like Mr. Willis, I would say is like my biggest like teacher friend of me because. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because this nigga was the most inspirational, annoying nigga you would ever meet. It's so um, crazy. Like, God. And, 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 and he made me scared to even apply to more help. <laughs> like let's this be real. This man made you afraid to sneeze in his presence. Like yeah, and shit. not not only was he like uh, my teacher at one point, um, which I, when I say one point, it was literally just a few classes. But he was also my basketball coach, which he he made me hate basketball. Like I hated, <sighs> I hated every moment, um, because of him. And like you coordinated already. Like I was pretty decent. And to be honest oh. though, like he was a decent coach. He just had no fucking empathy. And no patience. <laughs> Zero patience. Zero fucking patience. Um, but yeah, I just, he's one of those people, he uh, he made all the students read this book called Makes Me Want to Holler. Now, if you don't know what that book is about, you don't need to know necessarily, but there is a chapter, which I believe is chapter eight. It's called Train. And what that chapter is about is, it's a, it's a biography, and the guy and his friends run a train on this girl and now okay i had to read that book five six seven years prior probably more than that because my uncle sent it to me from prison and made me read it yeah i'm not even joking. i was i was like 10 or 11. I, I, I gotta like bear. I got another question to ask you. Why is it when your homies come out of prison, they be thinking they philosophers and shit? Like oh. you know, and they be like, <laughs> <laughs> and and they'll be like, yo, you know what? I'm gonna write a book. I'm gonna talk about my experiences. I'm gonna like, you know, tell people why they shouldn't do. Or I'm gonna send them letters. Beautiful. I used to send you them. Like, You've right. lived the least <laughs> amount of life, <laughs> and you, you think you're stuck in place. Most. Pretty much. I mean, you can get, you know, more education in there, but not everybody can turn around, read the dictionary and become a a Malcolm X or a lawyer or whatever. Like, not everybody can do that. Then there's other niggas that, you know, I'm like, nigga, you only spouting this shit because it helped you get less time, like type of shit. And then you came back, it just got ingrained in your head. No, but that's that's the other thing, too, is that their message is just stay out of prison. Like, that's their whole message. Basically, don't get caught. No, but that's but even then, yeah. I mean, but let's be serious. But even at their end message is stay out of prison. I'm just like, that's all you know. You don't know any more than stay out of prison. You don't know philosophy and shit. I'm sorry. I I saw your prison library. Not that that's not that, you like that books on Plato. I mean, you ain't you ain't getting no. And even then, like, I mean, it doesn't you need to experience more of life to apply philosophy. what you read. Because you're in this vacuum now the vacuum that you're in is great for science because you're in an enclosed space your food and everything you do and are is controlled like doing a study out of prison makes the most sense for you now i don't condone it <laughs> reasons is because people get out of fucking hand and again a lot and they've of already done the prison experiment for uh, psychology and, and that shit was horrible 
It was, but there, there's a lot. I think of, lasted like what, two, three days. It wasn't valid. That was the problem. Um, it, it was later found that it actually wasn't even a valid study because he primed, like the uh, I think his name was Zimmer. Uh, he primed uh, all the prison guards to act the way they did. They didn't just do that by themselves. There was a Stanford or the Stanford um, prison experiment. Yeah. But he primed all of them to do that, which is the reason why they acted that way. It wasn't because people naturally do that, which is what his claim was. You know, so it wasn't until years later, because and, and this, by the way, is still taught at some colleges. Like there, there are About how failed it is. No, th That's... there's some colleges that still like say that it isn't a failed experiment. Like when I was in college, it was still taught as something that was valid. And that wasn't that long ago. Technically, I'm hoping that the curriculum has changed. You are like 87 now, so. First of all, I'm older than that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, no, just shit like that, you know. And I, you know, I'm tired of talking about prison. I'm gonna go with something different. Like, nigga dressed like nigga. I'm sorry, but this nigga is dressed like everybody's least favorite dad in 2005. Hey, you got your cell phone on your hip too with that clip. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one of us that knows hey. that. Hey, like, <laughs> hey, is that shirt like a 4XL? Like, <laughs> how baggy is them pants? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. You know oh, what? Man. I didn't have a dad, hey. but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, man, I know that shit. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Like, actually, though, like, I can't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fucking oh uh, man so y'all got something so basically things that people think are achievements but really aren't like or shit that pe things that people celebrate that shouldn't fucking be because he didn't do anything oh uh, fuck hmm. I have one but it can't be recorded say it I can put it on Patreon <laughs> yeah we need Patreon um, stuff now because you, you keep you keep censoring yourself. <laughs> uh, we just can't like as fucked up as this is gonna sound. It shouldn't. It oh. needs to be the norm. It, by now, it's the norm almost. But we should not be celebrating when people come out the closet. I don't care like what status of like life you are, whether you're a celebrity or just standing with a person. Like if I had a friend, they were like, "Oh, hey, I'm gay." All right, cool. Cool. Awesome. When you told me, I was like, all right, cool. Cool. You're not about to like do a whole dissertation and post out on social media, like, yeah, like cool. this. And I'm just like, nah. ten years ago, yeah. I mean, because that was still there was right. Still but by now, like, you got stuff. Yeah. Oh, they changed their pronouns, or oh, they're not. They're going through this. I'm like, all right, cool. You like, got a month. You good. <laughs> <laughs> not even that. It's just like, you know, live your life. Because there's straight people who go to, like, I went to a pride event. Like, mm -hmm. so the straight people do that shit too. But I'm just saying, like, in terms of, all right, cool. We don't need to celebrate you. Like, yeah, you're helping people come out. Just like, hey, like this full uh, player. He just said, I feel like I need to announce it, but I decided to do it. I'm gay. All right, cool. And it's like, yeah, you helping other people decide to come out the closet if they feel so. But then everybody's like, oh, we got to do stories about the very first athlete and um, this sport who came out. And I'm like, that ain't necessary. Like, y'all make no works for people trying to come out the closet because you keep on, like, fetishizing this shit. Like, oh, my God, we know these people's private lives. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't care what Thank you like to put in any of your orifices, what you don't like to put in, what you like to stick your orifices into. Like, none, like, Questions. All, like <laughs> that shit does not matter to me. Like, I'm not about to sit up here, like. You know, I'm like, oh my god, let's see what this motherfucker is doing when they make sex. Like, nigga, no, that's like, yeah, and you know, niggas used to be so upset with like people drop a sex tape. It's like, bro, yeah, that shit don't know. matter. It's and like the same level. That's something that I've said before, and you know, I am in the alphabet mafia. So, and the reason why I say that is, and because you're not, and by the way, I don't even have to put this on. Like, this is on. This is an honest thing. Um, and, and I'm agreeing with you. You got you, so you got some. You're not just saying shit, and somebody. And I'm a group. big supporter, so like yeah. even though I crack jokes on this podcast all the time, but the reason why I, I say no, at the end of the day, I'm a big supporter. Yeah, but the, but what I'm trying to say is, is that the reason why you shouldn't celebrate it as big as you used to is because yes, there is still some oppression, and there's still like rights and things that we don't have. Like there's a meme going around, like hey, 
keep finding out every day that you weren't protected under something because you end up getting the right to get protected under which is fair which is true you know but the thing is we have more rights and we have a lot more now than we and to be honest you're right like people need to stop celebrating that shit like just let it be a thing you come out tell people is how else are people gonna know in the first place and i'm also saying this don't assume that somebody's straight either and i'm not saying you have to come out as straight either you don't have to come out it doesn't have to be a big thing you could just tell people and and you should feel comfortable yes some families are still there's still problems there's still things like that um but unless you come from a situation a particular situation where you were put in danger or there's something about your situation that's unique where you didn't have that type of support and you you came up celebrate that that is something worth celebrating however if you just found out that you were gay and you tell everybody and that's it that should be it and there's you didn't have any nobody was not supportive you we ain't having a coming out party for you like, right now the reason i say this is because i'm not going to name names however this actually did happen to me in college not me but somebody else because of me uh i came out and I, i'm not the most obvious gay guy just in general because at least when i say obvious i mean i don't have i don't show a lot of stereotypes cover, yeah. yeah i'm just i'm just i'm just me and 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 i don't per i'm not purposely masculine you'll see me doing stupid random feminine shit yeah I, I wear makeup i do makeup like i yeah I, it's whatever um, Where's this jock straps too? Yeah, yeah, I do. I should, they, they are way more comfortable. And if you're trying to run from the cops, <laughs> wear a jock strap. <laughs> oh. I mean, a designer one. Use one of them bitch ones. Not, not the bitch ones, but use one of the like actual athletic ones because those <laughs> sh those shits will get you going. <laughs> but what I mean is, is that yeah, I mean, celebrate those people, but then just accept otherwise. But there was one person that after I came out, everybody was like, nobody threw me a party or anything. Everybody's like, babe, you're so this, you're so whatever. I was like, thank you. You know, it was kind of a little bit of an emotional thing, mostly because of the situation, but not be, not necessarily because of, of my sexuality. My mom knew, like my parents kind of like just figured it out. My family kind of just knew and figured it out. And I just, when I told them, it was like, cool. And that's how it should be. However, a friend of mine um, came out like not too long after I did thinking that he was going to get like the same like oh my god you're so brave you're so this he did get that in some respects however he was expecting more like he was expecting like a party he was expecting everybody to be like you know ah, i can't believe it you're just so great and whatever but one we all knew that it was very very i will say obvious in that respect and i don't mean that because there were stereotypes but because he had he had expressed some form of attraction in that manner so it was like okay and then came out we just said yay that's great i'm so I'm proud of you that's great we accept you we love you all right cool well we went and everybody went about their day and he hated it <laughs> he did he, he really did because he um he wanted more like he wanted everybody to be surprised he wanted that shock and awe he wanted it. Like he wanted all of that it was unfortunate because he didn't get it but it was more fortunate that he had friends that loved him that's the more fortunate part you don't need anything else if you actually already have support again if you don't have the support and there's somebody against you there's there's violence against you and everything like that celebrate that celebrate the journey that you have but if it, if it wasn't like the big journey, if and if you knew and if everybody knew and you just come out and everybody's cool, live your life, live it. Because the momentary celebration it honestly isn't necessarily worth it. Are That's coming from party. a guy who had one. <laughs> Do your own like two child on a horn, two child shit. Mm -hmm. As many times as you want. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't expect it at my expense. <laughs> like, right, right. Shit. That's what I mean. Don't expect other people to celebrate you more. God, no. Do hope and expect them to love and support you. Yep. But it's just a love and support. It doesn't have to be boom, fireworks. Ah, bitches. Ah, male bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, why are you gonna call a bear like that? <laughs> the only reason, I, the only reason I, I, I said male bitches is because people would assume that I was. Mean. 
Everybody's a bitch. Everybody's a bitch. You know, like, bitch has no gender. Just like I, nigga I has no gender. <laughs> bitch and nigga do not have genders. Like you can, you literally fall into whatever category. I, as a person saying it, want you to fit in. <laughs> and like you know, another thing we just need to stop celebrating is people doing dumb shit. Yeah. And what I mean by this is you decide that you want to go bungee jumping or skydiving. But what like, about the- what, what else is there? What are you saying? I love those. <laughs> no, like, no, we're not. Mm-mm. Like, if you go out there and do some dumb shit, I'm not celebrating. Fuck no. Because if you happen to break your leg, die, like cause some kind of bodily harm to yourself, I'm laughing my ass off because didn't nobody tell you to go do that shit. Like, right. nigga, I like the ground. Like, nigga, no. Like, the first nigga that ever jaywalked and never did was like, oh, shit, I'm Jay and I walked. Like, nigga, no, we didn't throw a party for that. And now when you see people jaywalking, it's like, nigga, you better hurry up and get across the street before I hit you with my fucking car. You don't, you yeah. don't know the history of jaywalking. Dude. Don't nobody give a fuck about the history of jaywalking. All it I'm actually does matter. Is, it does matter. Fuck no. It does. Why, why does it matter? We throwing parties for that shit, too? No, no, we're not throwing a party for it, but the reason why it matters is because the reason the, it wasn't because of a person called Jay. They used to call people guys a Jay if they were gay, because you're not straight. So mm-hmm. basically, it was marketed that if you were a jaywalker, you know, because there were there were rich people who were tired of getting or tired of hitting people because only rich people could afford cars. So uh, they were tired of hitting true. people, and they didn't want to be responsible for the homicide so they created the jaywalking laws they would call people a J because nobody wanted to be called a J because it wasn't great at the time um and that's how those laws were kind of put put made because they were marketed as you don't want to be gay right you don't want to be a J don't be a Jay walker it's like nigga if i'm gay then so what shit even then i'm still not celebrating like doing dumb shit <laughs> like the fuck like when niggas is like oh and jump 37 cars. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, these rich billionaires wait, wait, are wait, going wait, to wait, space. Wait, 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 so, run it back, run it back, run it back. Okay. That nigga jump over 37 cars? Hold on. But a motorcycle, nigga. Like, you jump over 37 oh, cars. Like, okay. That type like, of shit. Like, I'm about like, to say, yeah. like, cross the street and just like, jump no. over all these cars. I'm like, you should probably celebrate that one right there. <laughs> no, that's we, that's we not. No. Just ran. <laughs> 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 And they be like, he just dark dash that street. <laughs> it's like no way. It's like yeah, I, I jumped from a hundred foot tree with like no cords attached to me, and I'm like, Ooh. nigga, I don't give a fuck. Like, and I only broke two limbs. It should have been more. Like, <laughs> I'm not celebrating that shit. Like, the fuck, no. You went out of like unnecessary means to do dumb shit. Like people who like, oh, I'm a skydiver and propose. What the fuck for? What happens if like your parachute didn't like pull and the emergency didn't work either? And that's like the whole episode of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, <laughs> where Trevor decides he's gonna propose to Hillary by bungee jumping. Oh, <laughs> man! <laughs> like, I hate like... that I laughed at that, but it was Whoa. fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh shit! Like you know, it was just like. I ain't trying to deal with all that. Like, that shit is, like, so fucked up and weird. Like, nigga, no. We ain't celebrating that shit. No. Like, fuck no. And fuck you for trying it. Like, the fuck? I ain't throwing you no party for that. Fair. What you got? You got to get one. You got to get one in. I mean, I don't know anything that you would It's come as a Are you Are you just celebrating everything? (laughs) <laughs> there's like the party that's why where the hell i feel like i mean there's like there's a fun boy i like him but i mean i don't really have anything like that yeah no. it's like a i mean it is what it is really i mean yeah i don't really have anything for that honestly yeah really don't Right. I'll put one in. Um, stop celebrating the gender of your baby. That's a good Because you're starting fires and shit. Like, Not even just fuck. because of that. What's the fucking point? 
Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking day. get it. You already I mean, had like, a baby the, shower. And don't be the people that be like, oh yeah, we're um, like we're just letting a child grow up to do whatever. Like, uh, uh, like no. It's weird. I mean, let your child. I mean, let your child have freedom and you know right. support them and love them and whatever. Like, here, here's but my thing. Like, because of how fucked up the society we live in, now this might have to be Patreon. Like, as fucked up as this is gonna sound coming out of my mouth, I'm not trying to be fucked up. I'm, I'll, I'll ass- try to translate it for you. The <laughs> asshole in me does not like does not need this type of material in my life so i'm gonna say it just straight up like so if little johnny wants to go to school and wear a dress as a parent you should just talk to little johnny and be like hey i support you i love you but let me just tell you especially with the age of like social media and everything else if you go out these walls especially when they kind to get into high school and middle school you go outside this house and go to school in that outfit the amount of peer pressure possible issues with depression and everything else in those critical years in life are going to be ten thousand times worse than anything you can imagine instead of putting your child through that it'd be a time to sit down and like really think about it if we're gonna go for this change and go full force cool but if it's like monday you want to dress like this and tuesday you want to dress like this then that's when we need to kind of sit down and be like, all right, cool. We need to really figure out a logical solution for you because I'm not trying to have my kid getting bullied and they need to go fight everybody, every kid and teacher on campus because that shit ain't going to be fly. Like, we just need to figure out some logical solution for that shit. Or, you know, just make sure your kids aren't assholes. Not true, but kids are assholes. Like, come on. No, is but that, I'm, I'm, I mean, cause this is coming from a kid that was bullied his whole life <laughs> for something that I, I didn't even fucking understand it. Like, I didn't understand what gay was. I didn't under, I didn't, I didn't wear dresses. I wasn't necessarily feminine, but people knew that I was gay. I did long before I did. But the problem was, which I think I, I talked about in oh, my filler episode, uh, is to th- let kids be kids. Like if I want to wear a dress, fucking let me, I don't give a damn. Like, like, yes, I, I was, but I was even depressed not wearing one like i'm not like i wanted to wear one but kids are gonna make fun of you no matter what they will find the stupidest thing and you're gonna get if you're gonna get traumatized at least be traumatized by something that you wanted to do but explain to them though. explain to them that hey this isn't normal and some kids are gonna make fun of you it's not no- it is normal it is let me just say that like it is definitely normal what I'm gonna say is, is that for like our case, when we were in high school, I even just the school we went to, just in high school in general, it's a lot different because niggas was bullying you more so face to face than cyberbullying because social media was like, all right, cool, I can just log off my computer. Now it's like that shit gonna follow you everywhere because people know. And I'm not like just saying like, I'm gonna just lock my kid up and do shit. Like, no, I'm gonna want my kid to live their life. And I'm gonna say, hey, if you wanna dress a certain way, cool. And if you decide you want to go to school this way, cool. But let me just prepare you like any parent should for the reality of life. And that's going to be that doing this, I understand you want to like speak out, do it. Cool. But doing this can lead to some issues. And I want to make sure you're prepared. If you're prepared, that's however the fuck you want. But if you're not, then I'll be like, okay, we can say this for the weekends or when you at home. Yeah. And whenever you want to go out and do shit, that's cool too. And that's still supportive. And also understand, and this is the parents in general, just because your child wants to wear a skirt, a dress, whatever, it doesn't make them gay. Fuck no. May, and I'm, 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 I'm speaking more so for male centered. If And if a girl wants to, it's the same. If a girl wants to wear pants, it doesn't make her lesbian. Like that's not, it, it goes both ways. Cause you have to understand that clothes are just cloths that you put over your body it does not matter what the fuck they look like unless you're a nudist unless you're a nudist nudist. that's that's a whole different thing i did actually remember one that i would want to say finally what is it this is man you look like an ashy potato when that light gets come on let him talk (laughs) (laughs) i was gonna say (laughs) i look like i'm about to like spark right now (laughs) there what you got so mine is really just kind of minor um Stop celebrating that your kid got on like the uh, 
honor roll or GPA when they're in like low level grades. <laughs> Celebrate it individually. Don't celebrate with everybody. I don't Please give a damn. Don't put that shit on. Hold on. And don't put that shit on your bumper sticker. Yeah. Because that's an easy way. That is an easy way for me to go to your school. Your kids. That's easy for people to go to your kids' school and like kidnap them. Like, don't, yeah. don't do that shit. If you get one, in, I don't even think you get one in college anyway. If if there is one, then put that one up. Well, no, you get the uh, you get the school, high school elementary. Get the fuck out of here. You get the plate holder that says like monsters. Yeah, there's a student at such and such school, and it's just like, I'm like, fuck you in that school. You still drive like an old bitch. <laughs> they don't do that. <laughs> do that. So Please, slow bro. driving ass. Like, the fuck? <laughs> like, no. Yeah, I mean, just that that one that one just gets on my nerves. I'm like, oh, come on now. It's like, people, <laughs> stop like being so laissez faire at raising your kids, and at the same Ooh. time, don't be too hands on. Like, you can, like, be in a business, but on, like, some friendly shit to it. Because your kid ain't going to tell you shit if you all in a business or you just don't deal with them. Like, that's how you have these kids that go to school and treat everybody like shit. And I wonder why your kid really lack a personality. Like, I just was talking to somebody this uh, week, and I was trying to have a conversation with him. And just to, like, kind of break the tension while I was waiting on some business to happen. And this motherfucker had no personality. I was literally talking to paint literally drying on a wall. That's what I was talking to. I was like, bro, like, and a shitty part too, he's like, this dude is spending like a shit ton of money on making sure they had the cleanest of clothes on, everything like top brands and shit like that. But literally it was like, I was talking to a paintbrush. Like the, the nigga looked clean and like was all that, but just wasn't saying shit. Like, fuck. I'm like, bro, you were the white walls of personality. Like that's exactly who the fuck it was. <laughs> Like, stop raising kids like this. Like, raise some kids with a personality. Like, shit. <laughs> My mom was hands-on and also laid off, too, during certain points. And we had a great relationship. I got a fucking personality. And I'm not sitting up here boring as fuck. That's all I'm saying is, people, raise your kids properly. So I ain't got to. Because if I got to raise a kid at whatever point in life, I'm going to fuck the kid up. Because that kid going to know a whole lot of... Like, I already told Concept and Bear, when they start having kids, at whatever point in life... Don't let me around them, because <laughs> I'm gonna fuck them up. Like, I mean, after Bear, like you, you're the one next one to have kids. I ain't have. Do you know how hard it would be for me to try to have kids? You can adopt. You can also have. Do you know a, how hard um, and expensive that is. You can have somebody carry the baby for y'all. Do you know how hard and expensive that is? <laughs> Bitch, don't act like you, you ain't know how to rub two nickels together and make a dollar. That's. <laughs> Let, let, let me be real though like I, i've been debating this for like ever like part of me really does not want it. a big a big part of me doesn't want it but a part of me is like oh that'd be cool to do like you know with children and but no I, hey little derrick's running around would be cute now you i don't know the little derrick's running around <laughs> and if they had derrick sass oh it would be beautiful oh god they can't live like here. Imagine I, i'd have a derrick separate sass. home i'd have a like, separate imagine, home imagine derrick like sass with my like sarcasm <laughs> That's why I would hope for your kids. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see it. <laughs> you're just trying to get a kid's ass beat. That's what you're you know trying what? to do. Because <laughs> I love you so much. If you needed me to provide a sperm for a kid, I said, I will do it for you in there. I think we have enough sperm. <laughs> sperm is the I will do it for you in there. Because I, I love you guys so much. <laughs> I mean, one of us can't do it, but you know, the other one could. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all so much. Yeah. Oh my God. You know what? That's. You know what? I want to see if that could be your million dollar nigga. What is the million dollar <laughs> nigga's game? <kid? laughs> you know, I actually had one earlier, like on Wednesday, and I totally forgot that shit. Ah, but, gotta make yeah, it up. That was so. Like, gotta true. And I got to make it up because I'm not allowed to write these. And so they had to come to off. I share the topic of dome with some bullshit. Um, I don't remember what it is. Stalling. So, yeah, I am stalling. <laughs> Bear, just start talking about random shit. Oh, man, not me talking about random shit. You know that about about anywhere. All right. Well, we're going to What's talk been about bugging random. you this week? That bugging me this week is my back. It's been pretty horrible right now. I've been like laying stiff like a bull. Nigga, I'm not doing no million dollar nigga ideas off of massage part. Let's keep going. I mean, massage parlors is not a bad idea, but let's <laughs> that is a bad idea. That's, like, that's gonna that's get a, a whole bunch of ice searching going on around. Here. What you got in this bathroom? 
<laughs> What's going on back here? I'm not all bad. I ain't no massage. <laughs> um, let's see. What else we got here? Uh, we could do some fireworks shit or something like that. Uh, well, probably not. That's pretty close to We all have that. Uh... Oh, I got it. Oh, there so, it. you know how we got, like I mentioned earlier, too, we got all these like rich like people doing dumb shit. Like, oh, nigga, let's go to space. And it's like, nigga, you need to fix the problems you created type of shit. So, I'm going to start a business where... And you guys are all in on it, but once every once every three weeks, right? You sign up, and you are allowed to slap a rich white person fifty bucks a month. Just slap a rich white person. So if you want to go, I'm not going to mention any names, but if you decide you want to go slap one of them because they decided to waste money going to space instead of helping niggas not have to pee in a bottle or you know, make sure the qualities and conditions of a company are better or to help fix, like, you know, anything in the economy, you should be allowed to slap a rich person. I, I, a mother, I would switch it to slap a politician. No, 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 we ain't slapping a politician. That's easy. Because when you slap the rich white person, a lot of them are rich and white. Mm. <laughs> so you, like, you killing two words with one stone. Expanding so. a business model. Exactly. <laughs> and then, like, you know, but we ain't allowing just, like, anybody. It's because it's obviously 50 bucks a month, so you have to be able to afford it. We're going to be checking back records and statements, and we really going to get in the know. We're going to even check your social media, because if you too much stupidity and trying to start fighting shit like that, you ain't in on this. But if you just want to be able to, like, get some saws in, you know, slap a rich white person. Would I have to pay more if I want to slap someone that's rich and not white? Ooh, good question. Yes, that's part of the exclusive membership. Mm. And if that's the cost, that's a hundred bucks a month. Mm. Yeah, that, that, that's the that's the noir, the noir, the noir grade. You can do it. It's just gonna cost you more. And the fact that you know these slaps, like we don't, and your slaps have to be graded. Like if you come in and your slap is a level two, nigga, no, you wasting our money. Like, okay, wait, what, what is confused. the scaling? I have to know this. What's the scaling of this? Where, where are we going from? Like one to That's ten? Or one to ten. If you were not a six and above, you do not. This program is not for you. What I have to pay? This extra Wusa extra? movement is not for you. Like, so that's what we call it—a Wusa movement. I have logistical questions. <laughs> Okay. What? <laughs> this, this, I feel like this has turned into a mini Shark Tank. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so logistically, uh, who, it's any it's any rich white person. Like, yes, we're calling this part of charity. And they okay, love that's doing fine. Shit for charity. Oh, but the okay, charity so really just goes back. To, so we are gonna set it up just like the rich white people. You know, oh, this is a charity. Right, and then it's gonna be a charity. We didn't found it and operate it, so the money really is just going back to us. And then because it's, it's considered a charity, it's a tax write off for them. Right. So you, we're just helping them be rich. So that Not you still really. Have, so you still have cost, like people. The amount. Slap. The amount of like, because they are not pouring into this at all. They they don't get anything. You're not paying them, and the ta- the amount that we are taxing was a hundred percent. Of their check that they get every year. The amount of assault. I, I, I'm, <laughs> uh, the, I'm trying to figure out how this isn't, how you're not going to get charged with assault. There. Sir, we're not getting charged. They didn't sign up for this to sign the, le- well, the fee waivers and all Who that. Like, waivers. When did they sign this? When did the rich We're, white person sign hey, this? Hey, you just need, you just need one little black kid. To go and say, please, sir, I need you to sign up for this charity. And then they sign up for it. First of all, Think about our high school. That's first of all, they don't give. They told us around. Hey, we don't. Care. We will take some random anybody, minority of any type, give them a sob story and a clipboard, and they will sign up. They don't give a damn about minorities in general. Hey, like, hey, hey. hey. Then this motherfuckers is the type to buy Girl Scout cookies. If anything, we just do some dumb shit like that. Like anyway, they gonna sign up. Don't worry oh, about that. Because they gotta have to sign the little form. <laughs> hey. You you just sneaky. <laughs> you you the devil. Hey man, either way, you know <laughs> shit. You bought a box of peppermints. You now gotta go into the slap program. <laughs> right. Mookie's is, Mookie's is Vicky Valancourt. He's the devil. <laughs> 
All I'm saying is, you know, we got some people. This is a Wusa movement. That's what we call it. Wusa. Shit, you just want to get that release out. So we're just like, boom. Like, shit. And it better be a six or above. Because if it's five and below, you are not allowed to slap. Is this sold in conjunction? Like, is there a package that includes the white noise machine? <laughs> <laughs> now if you don't get that reference you got to go back a couple episodes <laughs> it could be you know it really could be but you know on, on this case with the price you also get a month membership to your local million dollar nigga um soul cycle place this is like you just created a, a million dollar nigga scheme universe. Yeah, I really did. <laughs> MNSU, you have an MNSU. And you know what? In some of these seat, in some of these rich white people do belong on the carrying cruise. So we also might even have to put them on there and say this is part of the benefits package because you're <laughs> exclusive VIP members. Like no, I'm down. I only want a calendar made for potential targets <laughs> like, <laughs> so that people can be like, mm, I don't really keep a politics. Who would I want to slap on this list? There must be. a Exactly. There's going to be a lot of people on that list. Like, Fucking you know, menu. a lot of people. A menu. So concept, are you in on this? Or are you just like, you know, I'm not trying to go with that. I, only because. hundred percent of they like their earnings part of this charity. No, I'm good. Now, I'm gonna pass on this one. This is on the lines of the pyramid scheme. I am not going. <laughs> I am not going to jail for we're assault. We're not getting caught, sir. We ain't. No, we're gonna do a lot better than they did with that one college. We ain't getting caught. <laughs> this is close knit. It's only gonna be the three of us on the uh, ground floor. <laughs> Nobody else gonna know. We ain't gonna use real names. It's gonna be like a whole just. You know what? I'm Mr. Pink. They're Mr. Blue. <laughs> I said Mr. Horror. <laughs> I can't. You know what? With that said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping shit up here. Uh, my bear story for today. <laughs> what you got? What you got? Do I need a mute. This, this was a no? short one, and this one's actually I don't know if you'll remember this. Do I need to so, mute him or no? Uh, this one isn't that bad. I'll be honest. Okay. Compared th- because the episode was so raunchy, I'm gonna have to do a mild one. <laughs> <laughs> Balance the shit out. Um. So back in high school, since we were talking about high school, it's all boys cut uh, high school. And like I said, like we had to do PE, but if you weren't doing PE or if you were off season sport, um, there weren't really any actual after school programs. So what they would do uh, in some cases, some guys would just bring up their game cubes or their PlayStation. And there was a, a game club of sorts. It really wasn't an official club or anything like that. Mostly because nobody wanted us playing video games. Um, but after school, oh, somebody would bring it, and typically we play some like Naruto game. It was like a four-player thing, which was dope. I had to bring that shit back. That was my shit. Um, but bear. <laughs> so I, I this I don't know if you mute him. Like <laughs> mute him. <laughs> Sorry. I, He's gonna yeah, deny, he's gonna deny it. Now that I'm saying it out loud, he's gonna deny it. Uh, so we used to again, somebody would bring in a game system, typically a GameCube, because that's what you could play with the most people for controllers, for players, all that good stuff. Um, so Bear comes in, and we used to play like the unlocked versions of those games because they weren't available in America. This is before like Japanese ports were a big thing. So we had a disc that you had to put in first that activated and unlocked the Japanese version of the disc. So they did that first and then you put the game in, right? Note that, note that in that order. So Bear is like, it's just us. It's me, him, and like maybe two other people. Um, and somebody, they, they had just left their GameCube because they knew that we were going to do this anyway, but they didn't come to school that day. And so we were like, oh, you know, because I don't know how they did it. At least not at the time I did. I didn't. And so a bear is like, oh, I could do it. So he puts in one of the discs. I don't remember which, I'll be honest. And I think it was the game disc. It doesn't work. Okay. 
tries the other disc, which is like this like blue and black disc, I think, and then that unlocks it. it doesn't. Work. So we're like, okay, whatever. You know, we did the, the typical troubleshooting things, unplug it, re it. Still doesn't work. So Baird decides to hit the reset button over and over again. And now for those of you who don't know, older game systems, they had a power button and a reset button if you just need to do a quick reset. Easy. And the the reset button is usually like a lighter button. You don't really have to click. It does it just kind of like lightly pass. So you press the button. So he was pressing the button over and over again. He's pressing the button over and over again. The GameCube turns on kind of. Front, it turns like red. And but it also turned red from the back. And when it turned red from the back, it started smoking. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> So my ass leaves. <laughs> Cause right, I don't know so. what I'm doing anyway. I didn't touch it. <laughs> and bear, bear leaves too. <laughs> now, did it ever catch fire? I don't know. <laughs> that was my suspicion. I was going home anyway. Well, the school said, is still, it's still standing, so. <laughs> so oh, shit. bear broke somebody's game. That I know of, again. After that, I don't remember. I don't remember ever having Game Club after. That. <laughs> game Club has been canceled until further notice. Or Game Club, I mean, because again, it wasn't an official club. So, <laughs> with that said, uh, that ends. That's the end of this episode. Yeah, so, people, like, sure you like, subscribe. comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm always gonna interrupt this motherfucker at the end, so I don't know why he even tries it. Go out there, people. Read a book. Don't be a fucking idiot. Take some time off the internet. Move saw. Do some yoga. Take a walk. Exercise. Smoke some weed. Share a blunt or two. People who have been vaccinated. Like, do some shit. Don't be a fucking bitch. Don't be a fucking idiot. Don't hate people that don't look or sound like you. And you know what? Don't be a little bitch about everything in life. Because you know what? We got too many of those. You shouldn't be one of them. Oh, fair enough. Thank you all for watching. Rate us five stars. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you in the next one. Hear more of my stories. <laughs> <laughs>